Praise God. From whom all blessings flow. I don't know about you, but I come to receive from God this morning. I came to obey God, and I came to see what He had for me. And I hope that you came to see what He has for you, because believe you me, it's for a reason and a purpose that we're all here this morning, and God has something for you this morning. Amen. Hallelujah. I just can't wait to see what God's going to do. And I'm going to get out of the way and let Him have His way, Sister Martha. Because we're going to obey the Lord. Amen. Here's a brand new song that I wrote a little bit over a year ago that tells exactly why I'm here. Somebody asked me a crazy question. I said, why do you go to church? I said, I go to church to praise the Lord. And then I said, well, why do you go to church? And then they gave me all these lists of things that they like to do. That basically, it came down to this. They go to be seen. And I said, well, I've got news for you. When you go back to church, you need to hit the altar. Because it's not about me and it's not about you, but it's all about Him. I said, I go to worship God and to receive from God. I said, I don't go to be seen. I said, it's not a show place. It's a place for God to show out. So she inspired me to write this song, and the next day I went back and I sung it to her. I said, here's why I go to church. I said, I come to praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We've come here to worship and praise God's holy name. Hallelujah. Glory. Well, we have come here to worship and praise God's holy name. We have gathered together the victory to proclaim. We are raising our hands up because we're not ashamed. We have come here to worship and praise God's holy name. Well, we are here for a purpose. To lift His name on high We are here for a reason To sing and testify We are here on a mission Tell why Jesus came We have come here to worship And praise God's holy name Well, we have come here to worship And praise God's holy name We have gathered together The victory to proclaim We are raising our hands up Cause we're not ashamed, we have come here to worship and praise God's holy name. Will we are here to fill the Spirit, to grow and glorify. We are here to get a blessing, to pray and magnify. We are here to be a witness, I'll never be the same. We have come here to worship and praise God's holy name. Will we have come here to worship? And praise God's holy name. We have gathered together the victory to proclaim. We are raising our hands up because we're not ashamed. We have come here to worship and praise God's holy name. Hallelujah. Will we have come here to worship and praise God's holy name? We have gathered together the victory to proclaim. We are raising our hands up because we're not ashamed. We have come here to worship and praise God's holy name. Will we are lifting our hands up because we're not ashamed. Will we have come here to worship and praise God's holy name. I'm glad we're on our way to heaven, church. Glad that nothing is going to stand in my way of reaching my eternal home. And I don't know about you, that Jesus is coming soon and we're almost home. Glory. There's a promised land untouched by man, prepared for the saved and the blessed. A city built for a square, far away somewhere as a home for the saints to rest. So many have tried, but they couldn't describe all the beauties on that glad shore. For it's never entered into the heart of man what the Father has in store. I could sing about heaven for a million years and never get the story told. Of the jasper walls and the gates of pearl and the streets made of pure gold. Even John the Revelator in the heavenly vision could never really say what he saw. I could sing about heaven for a million years, and still I can never tell it all. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory. 
from the throne there's gleams of glittering strength with waters pure and sweet and it flows by the tree of life all the way to the crystal sea and the precious stones that the walls rest on are of 12 different kinds there the night will cease for the prince of peace is the light that forever shines i could sing about heaven for a million years and never get the story told of the jasper walls and the gates of pearl and the streets made of pure gold even john the revelator in the heavenly vision never really say what he saw i could sing about heaven for a million years and still i can never tell it all i could sing about heaven for a million years and never get the story told of the jasper walls and the gates of pearl and the streets made of pure gold even John the Revelator in the heavenly vision could never really say what he saw. I could sing about heaven for a million years, and still I can never tell it all. Even John the Revelator in the heavenly vision could never really say what he saw. I could sing about heaven for a million years, and still I can never tell it all. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Those followers of Jesus, distressed and discouraged, called Jesus and left them in a bind. They had given up everything to follow in His way. But now he had gone and left them all behind. So they went back to fishing, but this time not for me. They spent a lot of time and didn't catch a thing. Then early the next morning, they saw Jesus standing by. He says, friends, throw your net on the other side. On the other side, you will find abundance. On the other side, blessings overflow. Just follow my instructions. And you won't regret a thing. Wait until you see what's on the other side. We're getting ready to see what's on the other side. As I try to follow Jesus, sometimes I'm discouraged. The daily trials and troubles weigh me down. The more I seek to do His will and follow in His way, the more Satan tries to steal this peace I found. Church, but I'm going to keep on fishing for the souls of men. I want to be faithful till the end. Cause early every morning when I go to Him, to God, He says, wait until you see what's on the other side. On the other side, you will find abundance on the other side. Blessings overflow, just follow my instructions, and you won't regret a thing. Wait until you see what's on the other side. Just follow His instructions, and you won't regret one thing. Wait until you see what's on the other side. Here's my testimony that I wrote coming out of the valley. This might be where you're at. 
But God's faithful this morning. Bless His holy name. Some may say they need a friend. One who'll help at life's dark and not really knowing the inner self of them. But when troubles come about, no one is there to help them out. But if they only meet this man, why he would gently take your hand, then they would know, Lord, why you're the only one for me. Lord, you're the only one for me. Yes, you're the only one for me. You made a way. Oh, when my life it was null and void, you took a helpless dying man and made this living Christian stand. And now I know why you're the only one for me. If you've got any need whatsoever, God's here to meet every need. Hallelujah. Now if your life is filled with storms and your body is weak and worn, there is a man I'd like to introduce to you. Now he can save your dying soul. He'll make you fully clean and whole. Oh, please come to him today cause he can wash all your sins away then you can say Lord you're the only one for me Lord you're the only one for me yes you're the only one for me you made a way Oh, when my life was null and void, you took a helpless dying man and made this living Christian stand. And now I know why you're the only one for me. Well, you took a helpless dying man and made this living Christian stand and now I know why you're the only one for me for me I hadn't planned on doing this other song, but work, I'm going to do it this morning. Our good friend Walt Searcy that was always with us, he always loved to sing this song, and he went on to be with Jesus. So many of our brothers and sisters in the Lord have done gone on. But I'm glad that there's a meeting place waiting over on the other side. And the Word of God says, Eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, nor entered the heart of man what the Father hath in store. And the scripture says to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. And I, I don't know about you, but I, I pray today that if you're here in the midst of this service or you're watching my social media, if you don't know this man called Jesus and he's tugging at your heart's door, open up and let him in. Today is the day of salvation. You might go out that door and be called out just like that. Never have an opportunity to pray again. You wouldn't believe how many services I've been, Sister Martha, where I get a call the next day or in a few hours, and that person that was under old-time Holy Ghost conviction walked out and wouldn't come and pray, and God called them out. Choose you this day whom you will serve. I'm glad that 43 years ago I choose Jesus, and I made him my Lord of Lords and King of Kings and my everything. But this is an old song that was written real close to where I live up in East Tennessee, but it's, 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 it's sad for those that don't know Jesus. But it's joyful for, for us that are saved and on our way to heaven. 
knowing that we've got a better place waiting over on the other side. And I want you to help me sing this old song. And we'll do this song in memory of Brother Walt and my mama. I know you will know it. I was standing by my window on a cold and cloudy day when I saw that hearse come rolling for to carry my mother away. Oh, will the circle be unbroken by and by, Lord, by and by. Now there's a better home awaiting in the sky, Lord, in the sky. I'm glad I'm on my way. Undertaker, undertaker, drive it easy, drive it slow. For this lady, then you are holding, Lord, I hate to see her go. And so I followed. Close behind her, trying to hold up and be brave. Oh, but I could not contain my sorrow when they laid her in the grave. Sing it, church. Will the circle be unbroken by and by, Lord, by and by. Now there's a better home awaiting in the sky, Lord, in the sky. Yes, in the sky, Lord, in the sky. Thank you, Lord. Sing it. Oh, will the circle be unbroken by and by, Lord, by and by. Now there's a better home awaiting in the sky, Lord, in the sky. Yes, in the sky, Lord, in the sky. Yes, in the sky. Is anybody else blessed this morning besides me? We could raise both hands and say we've been blessed. Worship Him and thank Him like we should. Amen. As the world looks upon me As I struggle along And they say I have nothing But they are so wrong In my heart I'm rejoicing And how I wish they could see and I thank you, Lord, for your blessings on me. There's a roof up above me. I'm a good place to sleep. There's food on my table and shoes on my feet. And the fine family, I thank you, Lord, for your blessings on me. 
hallelujah. Church, I know that I'm not wealthy. These old clothes, they're not new. I don't have a lot of money. Oh, my Lord, I have you. And to me, that's all that matters. Though the world may not see. And I thank you, Lord, for your blessings on me. If you know it, church, sing it. Cause there's a roof up above me. I'm a good place to sleep. While there's food on my table and shoes on my and you gave me your love, Lord, and the fine family. Oh, I thank you, Lord, for your blessings on me. Oh, yes, I thank you, Lord, for your blessings on me. There's a roof up above me. I'm a good place to sleep. There's food on my table and shoes on my feet. You gave me your love, Lord, and a fine family. I thank you, Lord, for your blessings on me. Oh, yes, I thank you, Lord. I've got to thank you, Lord. I'm going to thank you, Lord. For your blessings on me. I don't know about you, but I'm glad to be here this morning. Glad for what I feel because the Lord's real. And I appreciate this open door and this opportunity. Sister Martha, I love you. And Brother Joy, thank you so much. Love you, church family. I think the first time I came here, I said, boy, I feel at home. I said, I may, I may live in Tennessee, but I know I've got a home church in Winder, Georgia. <laughs> and uh, so good to be back. Good to see familiar faces. Good to see new faces. And we pray for y'all every day. We've been praying for Sister Martha. And thank God she's still with us. I love, the, I love this dear sister. Me and her relate on a lot of, a lot of things. And Brother Joy, uh, it's, it's just unreal how God puts people in your path. And you relate to each other. You help each other. And, and, and we, we just encourage each other. And, and you know, that's, that's a blessing ordained by God. And I, I, I don't take it lightly. Because I love coming here. I know I can just but kick back and be myself. Some places you go in, you don't feel that liberty. Come on now. You all know what I'm talking about. You don't feel your liberty. It should be that way with everywhere you go. But some places you go to, you, you just get the cold shoulder. Now, I'm being honest. I, I had somebody that questioned that about a year ago. She said, you, I can't, I've never, I've never uh, experienced that. And I said, well, how many churches have you ever been to in your life? She said, two. I said, well, no wonder you've never experienced that. I said, if you traveled and ministered the way that we do, I said, I do this full time. She said, well, I just don't, I wouldn't know how to act. I said, well, honey, if you go one time, you'd know how I feel. <laughs> See, she was, she was way up here, and I, I felt way down here. That's the way she tried to make me feel. And I said, well, honey, I serve the same God you do. 
And I said, no matter how many churches you worship in, I said, you try one. I said, and when you're not welcome, I said, you, you question it. You think, God, why am I here? I said, then God reminds you that you're there to plant a seed. Because there's some places, me and Sister Martha has talked about this before church, there's some places that you go to that has it in the head but don't have it in the heart. They've got it in the head. They've been taught. They, they know how to stand up. They know how to bow at an altar. They know how to sing. They know how to rip, lift their hands. But it only comes right here. But you need a born-again, heart-filled experience under old-time Holy Ghost conviction where Jesus comes by and we realize that we're lost without Jesus and that we're a sinner because it still takes the blood of Jesus, just like you sang this morning. I love that. It still takes the blood of Jesus to be saved. That's why you call it the simple plan of salvation. Amen. So, amen. Give God praise, church. Woo. It's so good to be here. I'll tell you who I am. Most about everybody knows me, but those that don't, I went to a church one time. This woman, she said, now don't get up there and think we all know you because we don't. So I learned my lesson. <laughs> my name's Brian Birchfield, and I live up in a little town called Sir Goinsville, Tennessee, and I write most of the songs that we sing and then throw in an older song here and there. A lot of y'all will remember me with a group called the Melody Trio and then Divine Purpose. I know I'm saved and so much to thank him for. We've been in full-time ministry 22 and a half years. God's blessed my life. But this uh, past August was my spiritual birthday. I've been saved 43 years this year. Amen. I'm glad I've been saved, sanctified, filled with the Holy Ghost, and I'm not ashamed of Jesus. I worship Him in spirit and in truth, and I give Him all the glory and the honor and praise. I pre appreciate this church praying for me. We weren't able to be here last year. Uh, my mom was sick at that time, and glad you all understood. And uh, these few days, these next few days are a little trying, I guess, because the 16th of September last year, God answered my prayer. He healed mom in a way that I didn't maybe wanted, but I knew it was coming. But he healed her and took her on home to heaven. And I miss her so much, but I'm glad that Robin and Paula Dyer is here with me this morning. I appreciate my friends. They have a wonderful ministry. Love you all. We had different ministers to minister, and Brother Robin, at my mama's request, helped minister at the graveside. And let me tell you something. Mama's funeral was no funeral. There was people from seven different states that came to mom's service. The funeral home was full, and there's people shouting, clapping their hands, praising the Lord. The funeral directors are still talking about that, said so they had never seen a service like that. <laughs> Honey, I, I tell you what, the Holy Ghost just moved in there in a mighty way. And my former pastor brought a message called Listening to the Voice. God was listening to the voice of his child. Saying, I can't handle any more. God, bring me home. Then God's child, my mom, was listening to the voice of God. Saying, come on home, thy good and faithful servant. You've been faithful over a few things. Just come on in and rest for a little while. And to God be the glory. When we got there to the cemetery, they lost count at over 125 people at the graveside. They, lost, they ran out of places to park. But my mom ministered to my, to my first cousin, and I got to see her this week. Her son, her oldest son, had a heart transplant when he was 16 years old. and She wasn't able to go for a long time, but then he got better. He had a stroke after his surgery and got better. And my mom got her aside one day, and you just have to know how my mom was. She, she was bold. She had the holy boldness. She said, Nina, God's been good to you and your family. And she said, you're not in church. She said, he spared your son when he should have died. 
She said, but God healed him and brought him through it. And she said, honey, your place is back at the house of God. And she said, your place is to have your children in church and raise them in the fearing, knowing knowledge of Jesus Christ. And you have no excuse to lay up in the bed. You need to get up early and get out of bed and take your kids to church. And let me tell you something. My mom done some preaching. And let me tell you something. It worked. Honey, that day I'd, I'd never seen my cousin take a spell. She was sitting right next to me. And the Holy Ghost hit her, and I thought, boy, she's going to go out. <laughs> but, honey, she started this little hand doing this right here, and the power of the Holy Ghost just put her back out in the chair. <laughs> Hallelujah. I thought, oh, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. The power of the Holy Ghost will make you do crazy things, and it'll give you exactly what you need. And I saw her this week at the grocery store, she, and she's a prayer warrior now. She said, I pray for you every day. And I said, honey, I pray for you too. And she said, you know what? I said, what's that, honey? She said, Jesus is coming soon. She's, and she's got an unspoken prayer request I'll leave with you this morning. She said, you need to help me pray about something. God knows what it is, and you help us pray about it. And I told her, I said, the same God that took care of us, that saved us, that healed us, that does everything for us is going to do the same thing for your situation. I said, because he's still God. I said, let me tell you what the word says. It says, Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And I said, let me tell you. And I, we was in the grocery store. And I was people going around us. I was like, I don't care. I said, God told me to tell you to look up and hold on to the promise. And I shared with her what a friend of ours shared with me. They, they were living out in Kansas, and I love going out there to sing, but my friends moved to Kansas, and they were ministering and pastoring a church out there, and they went to the grocery store of all things. That's why it made me think about it. They went to the grocery store, and all of a sudden, while they was at the grocery store, a tornado hit. And all she could say is, I've got to get to my daughter. I've got to get to my daughter. I've got to get to my daughter. And she said when it hit, they got down in the store and went right over the store and they were safe. But when they stepped out of the store, I was sharing with her. I said, this is what God can do. They made their way down those streets with trees and debris everywhere. And they got down to the street where they lived. The house was gone. She said, oh, no, where's my daughter? Where is my daughter? And she said when they pulled up in front of their house, they spotted her. And she was standing there jumping up and down, jumping up and down. And she said, honey, are you okay? And she said, I'm fine. She said, how did you survive all of this, the house being torn down? She said, I've not moved an inch. She said, mom, I, I done what you and daddy taught me to do, to stand on the word. She said, I went and got daddy's Bible that he preaches out of. And she said, I put it down on the ground. And she said, I started jumping up and down. And I started standing on the word. And she said, I've been standing on the word ever since. And she said, everything around me, everything around me just left. She said, but me and God's word has stood firm on the word of God. God's telling us this morning that we need to stand on the Word of God. Don't waver, but put our faith and trust in God because we have an ever-present God that's ever-present with us that can still save, He can still heal, He can still deliver because He's still God. Hallelujah. Praise Him, church. Glory to God. He's telling you this morning you need to stand up on the promises of God. Don't waver. Just keep your feet planted firmly on the word of God. Somebody's here that's either watching it by social media or somebody's here in their midst that's not getting what I'm saying. Somebody don't know this man called Jesus, but you need to know him. Me and Sister Kyla Rowland wrote this song many years ago. And the day that my mom went to heaven, she said, that day that you and Kyla wrote that song, you wrote my testimony. 
she said, you tell my brothers and sisters in the Lord everywhere you go not to weep for me that I'm going to my eternal home. I'm going to get my healing and I'm going to be with Jesus. And she said, don't you quit. She said, you promise me you'll keep the ministry going. I said, yes, Mama, I sure will. I said, because that's my calling. I said, I've got to do what God's called me to do. And she said, everywhere you go, she said, you tell them not to weep for me that I'm going to get my healing healing that I'm in a much much better far better place than this and there's a lost person that's listening to this I don't know if they're here or watching this morning but God said to deliver this song listen to what it says from the moment that we're saved God gives you a testimony because when the blood's applied the old man moves out and the new man moves in and he's telling you this morning that he's given you a second chance. He's a God of second chances. He's telling you this morning you need to give your life to him. Because he's ready to accept you back. But you've got to ask. So I want to give you the song that God gave me and Kyla that day. And it's mom's testimony. It says, in case I leave, he's all you need. If you listen to the words of this song, because it's a testimony for a believer. Hallelujah. There's some words I have to say. An angel may come by today. You have shown your love so true each passing day. Storms and valleys we walk through. God's been good to me and you. But soon I'll leave for my new home where Christ abides. Now let me say, in case I leave, why he's a prince and help and need. If you need to see the proof, just look at me. Oh, see all the trials he's brought me through. Why, there's nothing he can do. <laughs> now let me say, in case I leave, he's all you need. Oh, hallelujah. What a promise that's waiting over on the other side. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Now I can feel my Savior dear. Why this might be my last day here. Oh, how I've longed to see my loved ones gone on before. Oh, but there is one I long to see. Why it is Jesus who died for me. Oh, I can't see that heavenly light. He's coming for me. Now let me say, in case I leave, why he's a prince and help and need. If you need to see the proof, just look at me. Oh, see all the trials. He's brought me through. Why, there's nothing He can do. Now let me say, in case I leave, He's all you need. See all the trials He's brought me through. Why, there's nothing He can do. Now let me say, in case I leave, I have to say, in case I leave, I'm going to say, in case I leave, He's all you I want Brother Robin and Sister Paula Dyer to come up and, and bless you with a song. 
or two, and uh, I love these folks. They've been some of the best friends and I've ever had, and they're anointed. They have a wonderful ministry. Now, they're, they're not Tennesseans. They're from Georgia. But we spend most of our time together. Amen. So we'll have to make a volunteer out of them after all. <laughs> but she already is. She's originally from Tennessee, so <clears throat> we bleed orange. So <laughs> Some of y'all get that about 12 o'clock. But I appreciate Brother Robin and Sister Paula, and these, these folks are great people, and I'm glad that they come to be with me this morning. I'm going to let them minister to you this morning. Make welcome my friends, the Dyers. <laughs> There's a kind of thing that breaks a man Break him down to his knees God, I've been broken more than a time or two yes, Then he picked me up and showed me what it means to be a man In the same old road for miles and miles 
You still hear the same old voice tell the same old lies. You still try to feel the same old holes inside. There's a better life. There's a better life. If you got pain, well, he's a pain taker. If you feel lost, He's the way maker. Yes, he is. If you need freedom or saving, he's a prison sinking savior. If you got chains, he's a chain breaker. Yes, he is. Yes, thank you, Jesus. Thank you. We all search for the light of day and the dead of night. We all find ourselves worn out from the same old fight. We all run the things we know that just ain't right. But there's a better life. Yes, there is. There's a better life. Well, he's got pain. He's a pain taker. If you feel lost, he's a way maker. Yes. If you need freedom or saving. He's a prison taking savior. If you got chains, he's a chain breaker. If you believe it, if you receive it, if you can't feel it, somebody testify. If you believe it. Receive it. You can't feel it. Somebody testify, testify. If you believe it, if you receive it, if you can't feel it. Somebody testify. You got pain. Well, he's a pain taker. If you feel lost. Well, he's a way maker. If you need freedom or saving, he's a prison shaking savior. If you got chains, he's a chain breaker. If you need freedom or saving, he's a prison shaking savior. If you got chains, he's a chain breaker. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. This next song I, I wrote several years ago, and I still feel in my spirit there's a lost person listening to what I'm saying. You know, uh, I've heard people call the Lord a lot of names, and he has a, many, many names. But you know, the day I wrote this song, God showed me something that I had never called him before. See, I was doing my Bible study, and I, I, I believe in studying the Word of God. And uh, every time you get into the Word, he shows you something different. But this day, I was studying on the names that we call the Lord. And I collect bulletins. That's the reason I asked that dear brother to give me one of those bulletins because I, I like reading later because there's things in there that will feed you. And uh, I was studying the Word, and every one of those names that I've been studying was in this church bulletin, but there was a whole lot more. And as I was writing this song, God, I looked at it, and I thought, there's something missing. And it's what's missing in your life this morning. He took me back to an old-fashioned altar, and I encourage every church to have a Bible school. It's important. I was saved through Bible school 43 years ago. Even though I've been singing gospel music since I was two years old, when I was nine years old, I reached the age of accountability, and I couldn't have told you anything is going on, but I was sitting toward the back, and my fingernails was in that wood of that pew, and they're still there. Where I was digging into that wood, I was like, I need to get out of here. But my pastor said, they're going to sing one more verse, and it was for me. And I'm glad that I went to an old-fashioned altar that night, and I met the very best friend that I've ever had, and that's Jesus, my Savior. 
And I called him something I'd never called him before. I called him mine. I know him, but most of all, he knows me. And God gave me this song. Y'all come help me sing it. You can call him a lot of things, but until you call him your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, you've missed the whole thing. I'm glad I call him mine, and I pray that you do too. Some may call him the bread of life, the one who gives eternal life. Some may say he's the chief cornerstone, Emmanuel, the Holy One, Lamb of God, oh, his only Son, but for me. I call him mine because he's Alpha Omega, the Holy Lamb of God, the Lord of all glory, my blessed Savior divine. Ever since the Lord has saved me, I've never been the same from the moment I pray, and I called him mine. If you don't know Jesus, you need to know him today. Some may call him the highest priest. The one who gives us perfect peace. Some may say that he's the good shepherd. He is the Messiah. He is the anointed one. He's the one church that's soon coming to take us on home. But until that day, oh, I call him mine. Because he's Alpha, Omega, the Holy Lamb of God. The Lord of all glory, blessed Savior divine. Ever since the Lord has saved me, I've never been the same from the moment I pray and I call him mine. Ever since the Lord has saved me, I've never been the same from the moment I pray. And I call him mine. I call him I wrote this song from Acts 16:31, where it says, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved in thy house. I know I'm saved. I've been cleansed by Calvary's blood, shed by Jesus. Oh, what love he came to me, and I let him in. I know I'm saved, I'm born again. I know I'm saved, I'm born again. I'm born again. I'm born again. Oh, yeah. death may come, oh, death may I'm going to live again. To heaven tall, all in the rest. Because I know I'm saved, I'm born again. Woo! Well, such joy and peace, church, I can't explain. All praise to Jesus, church, we're not the same. I'll never doubt, through him I'll win. 
I know I'm saved, I'm born again. I know I'm saved, I'm born again. I'm born again. I'm born again. No death may come, I'm going to live again. The heaven's home, all in the rain. I know I'm saved, we're born again. I'm born again. No death may come. I'm gonna live again. The heavens hold all in a ring. I know I'm saved. I'm born again. Oh, the heavens hold. I'm gonna run right in. I know I'm saved. I'm born again. I'm born again. Woo! Yeah, hallelujah. Glory, church! Hallelujah. Oh, such joy and peace, church, I can't explain. All praise to Jesus, church, we're not the same. I'll never doubt. Through him I'll win. I know I'm saved. I'm born again. I know I'm saved. I'm born again. No death may come. I'm going to live again. The heaven's home. All in the rain. Cause I know I'm saved. I'm well going. No death may come. I'm gonna live again. The heavens hold all in the rain. Cause I know I'm saved. I'm born again. Will the heavens hold? I'm gonna run right in. I know I'm saved. I'm born again. I'm born again. Such joy and peace, church, I can't explain. All praise to Jesus, church, we're not the same. I'll never doubt, through him I'll win. I know I'm saved, I'm born again. I know I'm saved, I'm, saved. I'm born again. I'm born again. No death may come, no death may I'm going to live again. The heaven's home, all in a ring. Cause I know I'm saved, we're glory. I know I'm saved, I'm born again. No death may come, I'm gonna live again. The heaven's home, I'm gonna run right in. Cause I know I'm saved, I'm born again. Will the heaven fall? Will it hurt? I know I'm saved. I'm born again. I'm born again. Are you glad you say this morning? Give him praise, church. Hang on a minute. I got to read something to you this morning that God put on my heart. God knows what he's doing this morning and I'm just crazy enough to obey him. This comes from Psalm 34. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord and he heard me and delivered me from all of my fears. They looked into him and were lightened and their faces were not ashamed. This poor man cried and the Lord heard him and saved him out of all of his troubles. 
The angel of the Lord encampeth round about them that feareth him and delivereth them. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the Lord that trusteth in him. But it's verse number nine that God's trying to speak to us this morning. Oh, fear the Lord, ye his saints. Oh, fear the Lord, ye his saints. For there is no want to them that fear him. Give God praise for that, church. Oh, fear the Lord, ye his saints, for there is no want to them that fear him. Hallelujah. I feel good in the Lord this morning. I love these services when you're, when you're wore out from the top of your head to the sole of your feet. You have to wring your socks out. I don't know who I'm speaking to this morning, but I recently went through my fourth bout with cancer. I went for my yearly checkup, six months checkup, and um, he said, I notice a place that looks highly suspicious. And when you've been given the death sentence before, when you hear those words, your heart sinks to the bottom of your feet. He said, uh, I said, well, I, I'd feel a lot better if you did take the biopsy. But this verse right here, Kept going through my mind, Robin, Paula. Oh, fear the Lord, ye his saints, for there is no want to them that fear him. All I could do is say, Lord, I need you. And God came on the scene. So they took this place out, and he said, it, it just looks bad. He said, but I'll be in touch with you next week. For those of us that are in need, he says in that word right there, you don't have to worry. In his time, he'll bring you what you need. And we don't have to want for anything because he'll supply every need according to his riches and glory. And I sat there in the chair and I had such peace. And I thought, you know, that doctor, he said, you've been through this before, haven't you? Many times I said, yeah. He looked at me and he said, um, most people don't have the outlook on life like you do. And I said, let me tell you something. I have a heavenly father that watches over me. And I just kept saying, I have a heavenly father watching over me each day. Oh, I have a heavenly father watching every step I take. When the dark comes near me, I will not fear it because he is on my side. I have a heavenly father. He's watching over me. And he said, uh, I just wish people could have a fraction of that. And I said, let me tell you something. God choose this path for me. And I said, it's a faith walk every day that we live. And I said, I don't get to choose what comes my way. God does because I belong to him. And I said, whatever I have to face, he said, I'll never leave you nor forsake you, but I'll go with you all the way, even to the end of the world. And I said, Doc, we're almost to the end. And I said, whether I go or whether I stay, I'm a winner either way. And he said, well, I'll be in touch with you next week. And I didn't think no more about it. Went out on the road and ministered and didn't have any problems. It was a little bit sore. But come Monday, he called and he said, can you sit down for a minute? And I said, you can tell me anything you want to. I'm okay. He said, I just want to make sure you're sitting down because he said, I've got bad news, but I have good news. And I said, Doc, I'm sitting out here on the porch talking to the Lord. That's my spot. They've been to my house. They know that's my spot. That's where me and the Lord talks and convenes, and I have my spot. We know we all have a spot. And I said, I'm just out here talking to the Lord. And he said, well, I've got really bad news this time. He said the portion that we took out was like the very first time the carathenoma 
like the flesh-eating disease. He said the fast-acting cancer. He said it was all contained in that spot. I said, well, praise the Lord. He said, did you get what I said? <laughs> I said, I sure did. He said, but I have some good news. He said, uh, that spot that we took out was so bad. And he said, I, I, it was exactly what I thought it was. He said, but I took more margins out. He said, I went, when I took that out, he said, I'm, I'm sure you noticed when I went back in there. I said, yeah, I didn't think you'd ever get done. He said, I went back and I took some marginal areas below and all around. And he said, everything, the margins that I sent off for pathology were completely negative. <laughs> Hallelujah. I said, thank you, Jesus, for healing me one more time. And he said, I've got more good news for you. He said, you don't have to take treatments this time. He said, sometimes I do just for precautionary. He said, but I don't need to this time. He said, we'll see you a little bit sooner. He said, but you're free to go. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. When he said that, it stuck with me. You're free to go. Somebody's bound this morning and they're not free. Somebody's been given some bad news and somebody's carrying a heavy, 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 heavy burden. God's our burden bearer this morning. You need to lay it down and leave it. And I'm not talking about halfway and have doubt. You totally empty, spilled out before the Lord. Give it all to God. Because he's ready, he's willing, and thank God he's able. To take care of any problem that we have. One of the greatest miracles is to see somebody saved. Just a few days ago, we was in a service, and uh, the pastor's one of my best friends, and the youth group, I, and I think it's wonderful, and I know it's the same way with this church. When somebody comes to pray, they're not up here alone. Y'all just encamp around them to pray with them. And there's been times I've been into churches where nobody would pray with the person. I just quit singing. And I go down to pray with people because that's what I'm all about, church, is ministering the gospel to those that are in need. But I saw all these youth get around these children. And it just, it just touched me and it reminded me of the day I got saved. I'm glad that when they got up, two of the youth group got saved and they're getting ready to be baptized. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But I said all that to say this, that no matter what your situation, whether you're lost, whether you're in a valley or you're in a storm, maybe you've been diagnosed with something that you've not told anybody about. Maybe you're hiding something that's only between you and God. He's telling you this morning to lay it down and leave it and nail it to the cross this morning. Because there's salvation in the blood. There's healing in the blood. There's deliverance in the blood. There's power in the blood. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. I don't know who I'm speaking to, but God does. See, it's not by accident that I'm here, and it's not by accident that you're here. This song that we're getting ready to sing and I'm going to have Paul and Robin to help me. See, I've lived every word of this song. God's telling you today to lay it down and leave it and when you get back up, there's three things you've got to do. When you're in that valley and you're, you're low, me and Sister Martha's talking about this for church. It's just been a pattern. <laughs> when you're so low and I've been there, I've been so weak that I couldn't get up. But the best thing to do is to keep on trying. And I, I was at a place, hallelujah, hallelujah, 
where I felt like I couldn't go no further. When I was at, going through my worst time of cancer, I, I kept going and I didn't feel like it. And, uh, and this is how the devil will, will, will come up on the scene. I don't know why I'm sharing this, but I am. This man walked up to me one night when I was at my lowest point and I had give all I could give. And he said, well, you wasn't up to par tonight. I said, what do you mean? He said, well, you didn't dance and shout and go on like that. And I said, brother, I'm going through cancer. I said, my body's weak. And I said, I'm blessed that I got to get up to sing. And he said, well, you didn't do like you normally do. And I said, listen, God don't move the same way in every service. And I said, he don't move in your life every day like he does the day before. And I said, you better be praising God that I was able to come and, and minister. I said, you don't have to dance, jump, and shout every service. I said, I like it because it hits me. I said, the Holy Ghost hits me sometimes and I got the can't help it. And I said, it happens. But let me tell you something, brother. I said, not every time it's going to be that way. I said, sometimes in the calmness. God will minister to you. He'll talk to you. He'll reveal things to you. He'll listen to you when you're at a point of stillness. Because the scripture says to be still and know that I am God. I said it's in the stillness and in the quietness when we hear from God. And he'll speak to us if we'll listen. I said if we're in the shout and we're just going and doing this, that, and the other we have a tendency to block out the voice of God. I said, we'll get into ourselves and we'll miss the whole message that God's trying to tell us when he's telling us to be still and know that I am God. When I was coming back through, I'd been to Jamaica. And we'd been to a place, we, uh, we was coming back through Miami. And uh, these people in front of us from another company was taking the Lord's name in vain. And I just tapped him on the shoulder. I said, listen, that's my heavenly father you're talking about. I said, I'd appreciate it if you'd quit that bad language because I don't like it. And if looks could kill, I got them. And I got up there to the place going through, and you never know who's watching your life. And this man recognized me. He said, you're the singer, songwriter, and evangelist. I said, I am. Have I met you before? And he said, no. He said, uh, but my boss just radioed down and said, you need to stand right over here after you go through the x-ray machine. I said, have I done something wrong? He said, no. And I thought, here's this little old East Tennessee boy fixing to go to jail for standing up to these people. But I got through there and here she come. The boss lady came. And she was crying. She said, I'm a missionary. I'm a preacher. She said, I heard what you said to those people. And she said, I can't do that or I'd lose my job. She said, but you can and I can't do nothing about it. I said, are you going to take me to jail? <laughs> she said, no. I want you to pray with my TSA workers. And y'all, anybody ever been through the Miami airport? You know how noisy and that place is. She, I said, you mean right here? She said, right here. And we began to pray, and some of our ministry folks had done gone on to get on the plane, and some of them were still behind, and we joined hands, and we prayed. I don't know how long, but it wasn't no five-minute prayer, I'll tell you that. But we prayed. And this was the first time I was going through cancer. And while I, we were praying in that stillness, and believe you me, there's people behind us that said, what's going on, what's going on? Then there was some people behind us that was praying with us. But while I was praying, God spoke to my heart and said, Be still and know that I am God, that I've got it all under control. And right there in that airport, God healed me that first time of cancer. <laughs> Hallelujah. And praise God, he's done it for the fourth time. That verse right there is for somebody this morning. 
O oh, fear the Lord, ye his saints, for there is no want to them that fear him. God's telling you this morning, be still and know that I am God. And he's got your situation all under control. Somebody needs to come and lay that down at his feet this morning. And you've got to get back up. The hardest thing to do is getting back up. When you're down next to the ground, Satan wants to push you a little lower. But God wants to lift you up. You got to get back up and if he saved you, filled you with the Holy Ghost, blessed you, you need to thank him for what he's already done. And as soon as you give God the problem, God starts moving. When you take your hands off of it. You need to thank him for what he's doing right now. But then you need to look ahead and move way on over here. You need to thank God in advance for what he's going to do. The word of God says to exercise your faith. That's exercising your faith right there. That you're giving praise to a real God that's got it all under control. And you're thanking him in advance for the good news and the good report that you're going to receive. Because he's still God. Be still and know that he is God and give him all the glory and the honor and praise that he's due. I'm going to try to get through my song if I can, but God's telling you this morning you need to lay it down and leave it. You might be thinking, well, I didn't even want to come to church this morning. I don't like his kind of music. I don't like the way he sings. That's all right. But the voice that you need to be listening to is God. You need to be listening to the voice of God that's almighty. He's powerful. That's speaking to you and your heart and your need this morning. To saying, child, I love you. And I'll take you just the way you are. It ain't what you wear. It's what makes you a Christian. It's what's in your heart. And I don't know who I'm speaking to, but you do. And God's telling you right now to lay it down and leave it. Sister Martha, I want you to meet us here at the, at the altar and any other your ministers here this morning. Because you need to lay it down and leave it and you need to get up. Then you think, need to thank God for what he's already done, what he's doing right now, but most of all, what he's going to do. We've got so much to thank you for. Hallelujah. When I look over around and see all the good things, he does for me, yes I know, I'm unworthy of them all, but His blessings, oh He freely gives, I owe, oh my life to Him, I've got so much to thank Him for, and I've got so much to thank him for so much to praise him for will you see he has been so good to me and when i think oh, of what he's done and where he brought me from i've got so much to thank him for and sometimes while on this way I need I stop and say thank you for all you've done for me Cause someday I'm gonna reach, I'll reach sweet heaven, sure, oh please, oh please, let me kneel once more, I've got so much, oh much to thank him for, and I've got so much to thank him for, so much, so much to praise him for, well you see, he has been so 
good to me. And when I think, I think of what he's done and where, he brought me from. I've got so much to thank him for. And when I think, I think of what he's done and where he brought me. I've got so much to thank him for. So much to thank him for. Thank you, Father. And sometimes, sometimes, while this way I need I stop and say thank you for all you've done for me cause someday I'm gonna reach sweet heaven sure oh please let me do once more I've got so much to thank here for and I've got so much to thank him for so much to praise him for well you see he has been so good to me and when I think of what he's done and where he brought me from I've got so much to thank him for and when I think of what he's done and where he brought me from I've got so much to thank him for so much to thank him for glory hallelujah 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 this is Acts chapter 10 right here he had prayed for many years a man full of fear he was steadfast and true as cornelius prayed he saw a man in white standing there in the room he said don't be afraid I've come here with a message from on high. He says your prayers have been heard and your alms are a memorial in God's sight. Cause your prayers have been heard. I know the answers all the way. You haven't been forgotten. He heard the first time that you prayed. Until the waiting is over. Keep holding on to faith and standing on His Word. God sent me today to confirm your prayers have been heard. Sometimes the days turn into years and you can't count the tears while you're waiting on the Lord. There's still a mountain in your way the old problem still the same, just like the day before. 
Woman, I've come here with a message. Your faithfulness has reached the Father's throne. He says your prayers have been heard. Church, he's moving. Just keep holding on. Cause your prayers have been heard. I know the answer's on the way. You haven't been forgotten. He heard the first time that you prayed. Until the waiting is over. Keep holding on to faith. And standing on his word. God sent me today to confirm your prayers have been heard. Until the waiting is over. Keep holding on to faith and standing on his word. God sent me today to confirm your prayers have been heard. God sent me today to confirm your prayers have been heard. Sometimes the days turn into years And you can't count the tears While you're waiting on the Lord There's still a mountain in your way The old problem's still the same Just like the day before Oh, but I've come here with a message your faithfulness has reached the Father's throne. He says your prayers have been heard. Oh, he's moving. Just keep holding on. Cause your prayers have been heard. I know the answer's on the way. You haven't been forgotten. He heard the first time that you prayed. Until the waiting is over. Keep holding on to faith and standing on His word. God sent me today to confirm your prayers have been heard. Until the waiting is over, keep holding on to faith and standing on His word. God sent me today to confirm your prayers have been heard. God sent me today to confirm your prayers have been heard. Man, I don't know about y'all, but I have had a time today. Oh, I tell you, God is just so good. And I am so, so glad that we have been privileged to be in the house of God today, to worship Him. You know, some of us may, may shout a little bit more than others. I put my hand up there. Tammy's going to put her hand up there. I'm going to tell you one day, one day Tammy's going to give her testimony. And y'all are going to know why she acts the way she does. 
I would act the way she does if I had been through what she'd been through. God is good like that. He just sets us free, you know, and when y'all were singing about the free, being free, me and Brenda's looking at each other, yeah, Tammy's free, Tammy's free. Woo! Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Praise God. And I'm just so glad that you were in the house today. And I know that you enjoyed it, and I praise God for you. I know that tomorrow is a holiday, so y'all make sure that whatever you're doing, make sure that you're safe, that you stay safe, and that you always, always make sure that you praise God. Because if it wasn't for God, you couldn't get up and go to work. You couldn't have the things that you have if it wasn't for the Lord. He's so good to us. Let's all stand. Brother Joey Baker, dismiss us today. Our precious Heavenly Father, we thank you. We thank you that you remind us that we're not forgotten. That you remind us that we're yours and that you are ours. We thank you, Lord, that you allow us to call you Father. And you allow us to tell others that we are a child of God. Yes. We love you, Lord. Go with us this day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Remember, me and Joey love you, but... Have a great day.